magnetic steer. This is based on the R22 nanometer. But the great thing about this one, it was designed with mobility in mind. This is very much to span across the power performance scale from anywhere from a slick tablet to an ultrabook to eventually a high performing desktop and workstation. We've taken the architecture extremely seriously, so we've been able to cut 20x of the idle power of the platform level, not just the CPU level, comparing to a Sandy Bridge, which is the second generation core technology. And of course, we have done a lot of work from architecture to design, using the power management framework, some of it related to Windows 8, and using our great process technology to have their great ability to vary across multiple price performance and leakage and power. So I would like to show you these capabilities comparing the fourth generation to the third generation. So on my left, I have an ultrabook based on Ivy Bridge, our third generation core technology. And on the right, I have a reference platform. Trust me, it's about the exactly the same power as this one. So when we launch this product, it will fit to a nice looking ultrabook as this one but I would like to show you the difference in performance between two and this is a real benchmark to really try it out to show graphics performance. What you can really see that we have been extremely proud about Hyperbridge which delivers almost double the performance of Sunny Bridge but how is going to be delivering yet another two extra capability at the same power envelope. So, this is something you probably may be expecting Intel, therefore you do not applaud. But, <laughs> but delivering 2x generation by generation is not a small exercise. But this is not sufficient for us. As the world moves to more and more mobility, I've been challenging the team to go figure out and to fit to something which is, this is kind of a yoga like, this is a concept platform, this is not a real platform, but this is how thin I'd like it to be, and I'd like to fit the Haswell into it. So the thing came back and said, well, it's easier ask than done, that's why I have my job, which is about asking. <laughs> and they would like to compare the same core running at the same power, this is the third generation core technology, comparing to a husband, fourth generation core technology running at less than half the power, and see whether you could see the performance difference. So we're running about half the power, and you can see it is about the same performance. This is a technology demo, but next year we need to fit the best performing graphics, processing, media capabilities on Mother Earth that will fit into extremely thin, extremely nice, extremely sleek form factor. So mobile computing is not limited to tiny, low performing devices. Mobile computing is about not just mobile, it's also about computing. 